Hello everyone, welcome back to High Mathematics. Happy to see you here. Really interesting problem I got for you today. We have 2 to the power a minus 2 to the power b equal to 2016. And of course, if you like my videos, put a like, so I really appreciate it. Any comment, it helps me a lot. It's not hard to you, but it's really important and it's really kind from you too to inspire me to make new content every day. Thank you and let's try to solve it. Okay, we have 2 to the power a minus 2 to the power b equal to 2016 and we need to find our integer a and b. So we are talking about only about integers. First of all, I want to mention one really interesting moment because 2 to the power a need to be greater than 2 to the power b because on the right hand side we have a positive answer. We have 2016, it is positive, so this on the left need to be greater than this on the right. And if we are talking about our equation 2 to the power a equal to 2 to the power b and moreover about inequality we need to mention that a is greater than b so let's start with this this is really interesting and really important moment for us okay what we're going to do next take a look closely let's factor out from here 2 to the power b so from this equation let's factor in 2 to the power b if we're factoring 2 to the power b we have the really interesting moment right here we have 2 to the power not a but a minus b we factor in it minus 1 because we factor in 2 to the power b equal to 2016. Okay, I hope you understand this step. What we're going to do next? Take a look closely. Right here, we can substitute this a minus b. This is more easier for us. We have 2 to the power b times 2 to the power. I write this a minus b as, for example, t, 2 to the power t minus 1 equal to 2016. Okay. And let's write this 2016 in the way that we need right here. We have right here some number, some product, that 2 to some power times this parenthesis equal to 2016. So we need to get this 2 to the some power from this number. So let's write this 2016 right here on the right hand side. If we divide this 2016 by 2, what we have? Really easy dividing to 1008. Dividing by 2, we have 504. Dividing by 2, we have 252, dividing by 2, we have 126, and dividing by 2, we have 63. So as you can see, this is an odd number. So how can we express this 2016? We have 2 to the b times 2 to the t minus 1 equal to, we can express this 2016 as 63 times 2 to the power 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have 2 to the fifth power times 63. This is like the main moment right here. And if you look closely to this expression, <coughs> sorry, we have 2 to the power b, we have 2 to the fifth power right here. So it's not hard to see that one and only case that this equation works is when 2 to the power b equal to 2 to the fifth power. So this is equal to this one. We have 2 to the power b equal to 2 to the fifth power, which signals us that right here b equal to 5 because we have same basis and we need to compare our our powers so b equal to 5 <coughs> sorry okay we have b equal to 5 and why this is good for us because we j just cancel this in our minds and we still have this 2 to the power t minus 1 equal to 63 we have the second pairs of of parentheses so let's solve it we have 2 to the power t minus 1 equal to 63 how can we solve it? Classic equation, minus 1 goes right here, we have 64, so we have 2 to the power t equal to 64. And this is the same classic equation, classic equation with powers, because 64 is a really good number, we can write this 64 as 2 to the 6th power, because we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. We have 4, 8, 16, 32 and 64. So from here, 2 to the power t equal to 2 to the 6th power, which signals us that our t is equal to, is equal to 6. But in our, in our question, we need to find our a and b. We don't need this t. And where can we find this t? Right here, we write a substitution that a minus b equal to t. Let's write it. a minus b equal to t. How many variables we know? Okay, we know t right here we know it we know b so we can easily find our a that in the beginning we have a minus b we know it we have 5 minus 5 equal to t 
t equal to 6. So from here a equal to 6 plus 5 equal to equal to 11 equal to 11. So what what answer we will have? We have that our a equal to 11 and our b equal to 5. This is our integer pairs of solution. But let's let's check it. Let's check it real quick. This is integer integer power so we can easily find our we can easily check our answer. So firstly 2 to the power a 2 to the 11th power minus 2 to the 5th power equal to 2016. Let's check it. Is it correct or not correct? We know that 2 to the 10th power equal to 1024. We know it, a lot of programmers know, a lot of people know it, and I suggest you to remember this or to learn this moment. But 2 to the 11th power, we need to multiply it by 2. We have 1024 times 2, which give us 2048. So we have 2048 minus 2 to the 5th power. We have 32, I guess, yeah? 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, we have 32. Equal to subtraction, we have 2016. So finally, our answer is, is absolutely correct. So let's write our final answer. We prove it, we check it. Our answer, A equal to 11 and B equal to 5. This is our, our answer. Of course, you can solve it like in your mind by inspection, but math is about a solution, not about inspection. Of course, you can see your, your route, but what about solution? This is a classic method to solve it, and I hope you enjoy it. I hope you I hope you learn a lot of new information in this video, and I hope I helps you to solve this this problem as well. So put your thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Subscribe for more videos. It helps me a lot. It inspires me a lot. So thank you for watching, and see you in the next videos.